you see and this is all the this is all a, a lot of the fun about the bike I could go out if I had fourteen thousand dollars in cash I could buy a Hayabusa 1300 GSX and uh, 200 horsepower or since I live in America if you don't live in America I can go right down to my local Dodge dealer Dodge car dealer and I could order a 2011 or 2012 Dodge Viper May, maybe I think a 2011 if I had hundred and nine thousand dollars in cash plus probably another fifteen thousand for taxes and all that so with these kind of bikes it's just fun to play around with and in America you can buy all the performance you can afford this is the fun part is trying to put it all together so that's what I'm, I'm doing with this this little bike the only other problem that I found with um, some externalities is and I don't know how I'm gonna fix it but this is a problem with when you change one component on a bike it changes damn it, other components for instance when I put on this SR8 SR8 uh, shock extender what is it it is done I mean it's gonna be brilliant for what I want it's going to give me more room up here for the um, spark plug not to hit it the the uh, muffler won't hit on the on the light like I was saying before the muffler before you can see that the little area right here this area and this area were hitting right here when I would go on a on a a, um, a heavy bump and what that would do is first of all it loosened the really cool shit clamp right here and I lost it and the second thing it did was it stressed the pipe and I believe it's it cracked it and as you can see I fixed all that and hopefully it'll stay fixed I, I hope and another thing I did with the pipe is now this is a very good tip of the day on pipes is if you get a, um, a, a, an aftermarket pipe that fits your cylinder perfectly okay take it off and check it because none of them fit perfect what I did was I made sure that my free flow of exhaust from the cylinder head into the pipe is as straight as I could get it then what I did was I came down here and I put little tiny like five or six washers with um, in tape right here as a uh, spacer and I put a couple of washers on the top right here that gives me less stress on the pipe and gives me um, a, a freer flow on the exhaust so with the with um, the shock the way it is higher the deal is that even though I have a flat tire right here from last year I've got new tires so it doesn't matter but the even with the uh, the kickstand down on the ground the tire is on the ground now because the shock has pushed the tire farther down and that is a problem when you go to start it because the the wheel is supposed to spin free especially with a motor like this so we'll just get I'm just gonna have to see what happens but I'm, I'm getting over this uh, cold or whatever I picked up down in California and uh, my father's still pretty bad shape I don't know he's 88 I, I don't don't know how well uh, he's gonna do he he's a tough old bird though he survived the Battle of the Bulge he fought the Germans in November 44 in uh, France Belgium Bastogne got half his hand blown off by a a German 88 tree burst tank shell and uh, he's just a tough old guy and he's uh, mainly German too so I'm trying to get back to my DO and but I've never had a father uh, get old on me before like this so it's kind of an emotional thing 
that I'm, I'm trying to go through and most of these emotional things I have to go through alone. It'd just be nice if I had someone to talk to, but I don't. All right, we continue.